Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to get the best out of these two books, the first aid for the USMLE exams. So recently I emerged successfully on the USMLE step one and step two and currently I'm studying for the step three. So I have some experience to share with you from my prep for step one and step two. And so uh, I'm going to share exactly that with you. If you have not watched my other videos, you want to do that because it's helping a lot of people. And so you also want to benefit from them, how to score high on your U world, how to perform on the NBME. I have done all that. And also, if you have not subscribed yet, you want to do that because in my next video, if you want it, I'm going to come out with the best and then the most high yield topics that you should study from these books. And then it will help you shorten the length of study for your exams. And so let's get straight into this video. Now, if you are somebody who is now starting to prep for the USMLE or you are considering how to um, like how to even approach it in the first place then this is the best video for you if you are also already studying for the USMLE and you are struggling to increase your scores then this is a video that you should watch do not skip because every sentence that I'm going to say is going to be vital to your exam so do not skip watch to the end and you want to subscribe to this channel now first of all for the sake of those who are now starting to prep for the exam so basically uh, we have three main resources that we use to prep for the USMLE um, it is the U World First Aid and Pathoma and so for the for the sake of this video I'm going to talk just about the first aid and I also have a video on how to use Pathoma so you can watch that also now when I took this book for the first time the initial perception was it is so compact like you all know how compact it is that like it has so much information that is written in like small size fonts and it's compacted without explanation for about like 80 percent of the information in the book has no explanation so it means that there is a textbook that the information has been taken out from some of the info are also taken out of some uh, researches and they are taken from the national institute of health uh, website and all that is in it and so um, this is a very very high yield book gold standard has all the information in them that you will need to pass the exam but if i can bet you that if you take this book to the library and you read it for three months you will forget almost everything in them so that is why i'm going to do this video now um, that was my perception there are some people who approach this book they read it over and over some read three four five six times but personally i am not someone who can do that so i devised my own strategy and um, going into the exam and how to use the book so i'm going to share exactly that with you now first off when i bought this book it was in 2019 when i bought it the first time um, i started in my other video i always say i started with reno i went to the library opened reno and read everything on reno but i came back to u world to do questions and i scored like almost everything wrong i just couldn't remember anything so that is not the smartest way to take the book and just read it in isolation. So that is it. Now, next thing is some people um, love the soft, uh, the soft copy versus the hard copy. I will always advise you to get the hard copy. Now, one of the advantages of the hard copy is that you are able to do annotations. I mean, in the soft copy also you can do annotations, but it is faster for me if you are doing that in the hard copy so yeah um, and then you have like just one computer interface when you are doing it in your um, um i mean on the computer but with this you have a second interface that you can use yeah now one of the advantages of the phrase it is that it has all the information that you need 
Now, how to extract those information is the reason why I'm doing this video. Next is that it has lots of mnemonics in it. Now, when you start studying for the US MLA, you have to appreciate mnemonics. If you are someone who thinks like, like myself, when I started studying for the US MLA, I thought like just knowing and understanding the concepts is enough and I'll be able to figure it out in the exam, but it does not work that way for the exam. You need to appreciate mnemonics as much as possible going into this exam. If you see any mnemonic, find a way to memorize it. If you want to write it down, you want to add it to your flashcards, like you need to be seeing them always. If you see one question on your world that and that you got wrong or you got right, you need to come back to the book and look at what the book is also talking about that that, that concept and see if the book has some mnemonics for the other causes of the condition they are talking about. So that is something that you want to do. Next is that there are lots of space in the book for you to write, take notes in it. Now, one way that I used first aid was like I did this strategy in order to avoid having to read the book back to back. I am not going to do that. Like I don't, I'm just not a good reader. So what I did was that I used the Boss and Beyond videos. And luckily for us, for most of the topics in the first aid, especially for step one, um, Boss and Beyond goes accordingly to the chapters. And then he also goes according to the arrangement of the information on I mean, in the first aid. So what you want to do is that anytime you approach any topic, you want to open your first aid, have your computer in front of you for whilst you are watching Boss and Beyond, then you are looking through first aid. Pause the video for Boss and Beyond and make annotations. Pause the video and read the first aid and see whether what he's talking about and what is in the book, like they correlate. And just make sure that whilst Boss and Beyond's videos are playing, you are looking through the first aid with it. So it's like someone reading for you whilst you are looking through the book. And that is very, very effective. Like that saves you a lot of time. You don't have to just sit by yourself and read and everything goes away. Next import importance of doing this is that Boss and whilst like Dr. Dr. Ram is talking, that's for Boss and Beyond. Whilst he is talking, you he 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 adds more information to whatever is in the book. Mostly for the physio, he explains the information. So you don't need any extra textbook to decode the information. He decodes them for you already as you are watching his videos. So that is important. Pause the videos and make annotations in the book. Another important thing you want to do is that anytime you are doing the U world, I did this, I made sure that I came back to the book and searched for the topics that the U world questions are going after. And most of the time, what you realize in my book is that when I see the concept from U world in the book, I'm going to just write under that. Either I was underline it or highlight it and write U world there. Just write U W, meaning that U world ask this question. So anytime I take the book again, whether I'm reading that topic or I'm reading a different topic, once I'm flipping through the book, I would be able to like tell that U world has this concept. So let me pay attention to it. If it's ambos, if it's med bullets or any way that you see any information, you just want to write it in a book and so that next time you see it, you will know that this question is vital. This topic is important for me to remember. Another advantage for using the hard copy is that, as I just said, if you write, if you annotate in the book that this topic is for, was asked in Ambos or this topic was asked in you world. Anytime you are flipping through the book, be it you are looking for that topic or you are looking for another topic, you will come across these things. Like, but when you are using the soft copy, you most of the time you are, you are going to search for the information and it takes you straight to the page. You don't have to flip through 
the page, the, I mean the whole book or some of the pages before you get to the topic you are looking for. So that makes the soft copy like less like advantageous to the hard copy. Now, let me go to the images in the book. First Aid has lots of images. Lots, let's go to some pages. Let's say for like if you see all these images, if you go to the skin and all that, there are lots of images that you can learn from. Lots of images. And all these images, I want to tell you that they are very important. They are very, very important. They are standard images, just like the NBME and then the boards would use. Most of these images, you might end up seeing them either in your U world or on the real deal. So you want to pay attention to them. Also, I made sure that I added these images to my flashcard if I think I would forget them. So it's something that you also want to do. If you see an image in the first aid and you think you are going to forget it, put it in your flashcard so that you see it over and over again. For the sake of step one takers, for my analysis, about 10% of the exam is all about images. So you want to pay attention to images the radiographic images, the pathologic images, you want to pay very close attention to those. Now, the next thing is that I want to compare like how I used the first aid for step one and step two. The most similar thing between my prep for step one and step two is that I made sure that I used like an Anki flashcard with the, the books. So any information that I get from these books and I feel are very high yield and I don't want to lose it, I make Anki flashcard out of that page. Now, if you watch my video on how I use Anki flashcard, you will get more information from that. So check my channel page, you would get that. But for the sake of this video, I want you to know that when you are doing your Anki, and you are make, when you're making up the flashcards, you can take pictures from the book also into your flashcards so that you don't always have to come to the book to look for information. You can get those information when you are also doing your flashcards. So that is important, but don't overdo it so that you are not reading the whole book. Just do it for the most high yield topics. Yeah. And Next is that, so when I was doing my step one, mostly I used this book. And as you all can see, I'm still keeping it because I have annotated a lot in it and I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to keep this book. I used it from 2019 and I'm still using it today. I'm going to use it for step three as well. Now, for step two, I got a book here, but if you all can see, it looks really clean, right? As if I did not touch it. Yes, it's true. Look, if you look at the covers, the step two one looks very clean. So yes, I did not use this book for step two. It wasn't that important for me because I had done the step one very well. So I realized that most of the information on the step two CK are from the same step one first aid and U world. And whatever was in this book, the step two CK book, was on you all so i did not use it so my advice to you is if you are doing step one you want to really really do it well and get most of the information from the book so this will be the end of my video if you have any comments put it in the comment box if you have any suggestions if you have any topics that you would want me to talk about, I want you to put it in the comment box and I will talk about it. I wish you luck in your exams. Don't be scared of the book. Just use it and over time, you will be very familiar with the information in it. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you again in the next video. Bye and I wish you good luck. I want you to know that if I can do it, you can do it too. Good luck. Bye.